two, one. All right, everyone, Cody here. So today we're gonna to be doing some freeze branding on our cows. The idea is that you shave the hair off and freeze the skin so that the hair follicles, like you kill the very top of it, the top part adds the pigment. You kill that, then the hair will grow back in white which uh, if it's a black cow it really stands out and makes a really nice brand. Also it's a lot less painful for the animal than the hot branding and in my opinion especially on small animals like the, an intricate brand it gives you a much better image because sometimes it'll slip and you'll end up with just a big blotchy scar. Uh, it will even work on humans. I've got, I don't know if you can tell because I got pretty light hair anyway, there's a light spot on my leg right here that's not actually because I don't have hair there, it's because the hair is white. Now you can see, there is actually hair there, see? And the hair is white. What happened here was I was uh, filling some uh, propane canisters uh, a few summers ago, and uh, when I was unhooking it, it sprayed some liquid propane on my leg, and it went through my pants, and it froze my leg a little bit, and uh, the hair grew in white afterwards. You can use dry ice, but you gotta make sure you use alcohol and a brass or copper branding iron to get good conduction. If you use liquid nitrogen, you can actually still use steel because it's just so cold that it'll work whether you use steel or not. Uh, to get liquid nitrogen, uh, you're gonna need a door. Uh, having something like this with a brand name, it's really easy to get filled up. You just go to a welding supply and they'll fill it up for you. Uh, they'll usually charge you between three and nine dollars a liter. I actually recommend uh, purchasing half the volume of your tank. Say this is a 30 liter tank. I I went in and I had you know I, I paid for 15 liters, but they went ahead and filled it all the way up because it's really more trouble than it's worth to meter out how much is there. So I got it for half price, which is a fairly good idea. And really, it wasn't costing them anything. Uh, you can use a thermos like this. In fact, I have some nitrogen in here right now. See this? You can find these at a store. I got this at a thrift store for like, yeah, here's the price on it, $2. Pretty cheap. Uh, I could probably even take the uh, thing out here because what you need is the glass ones. If you use a stainless steel or something, it really won't work as well. Look at that, that glass double walled vacuum insulation. This works really well to hold nitrogen. This will hold that nitrogen for over a week, uh, if you're not using it, of course. You can get this filled up at the welding supply. It'll cost you a little more per liter. You know, with this, I might clear $4 a liter. With this, it's gonna cost you 20 or 30 at least, because you know, it takes some time to go fill it up. And you gotta pay, pay them to make it worthwhile. But you can still do it. Anyway, let's uh, get to it. I'm gonna go get this filled up and hopefully we'll get branding those cows. Would I be better off holding her head down? Yeah. Let me just picture this. That. <laughs> Can I move this around like this? Yeah. Okay. You gonna hold her, hold them in place? Yep. Get some of this alcohol on there. All right, that's good. I'll be when. Uh, all right, you're out ready? Yeah, I'm. Are we gonna have to get rid of this bar right here, Cody? That's fine. You ready? Yeah. All right, in three, two, one. I hate when they move. Right, come on. And he went. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Okay. That's probably good. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Got it? Yep. Let it go. Alright. Three, two, one. Now we're 